Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jennifer, and in this video, we're gonna be making a charcuterie board. Now, you may be wondering, what in the world is a charcuterie board? So I did a little research, and basically, it's just a platter with different meats, cheeses, nuts, fruits, and breads. I thought it would be fun if we put a Savannah, Georgia spin on our board, so I did a little shopping in the Savannah area, and I can't wait to show you what I came up with. We visited some of my favorite shops in the Savannah area to look for yummy food items. I'll have all of these places linked in the description box below in case you'd like to visit them or check out their websites. Next up, I needed a new cutting board. I didn't have a nice big wooden cutting board, so I ordered this one from Amazon. And I also ordered the food grade mineral oil because I saw in the cutting board reviews that it'll keep your board from staining. And I'll have both of these linked in the description box below. Next, we headed off to good old Kroger to get the rest of the food we needed for our board. And this turned out to be such a fun project for me and my daughter to do together. Now it's time to get your supplies together. Besides the cutting board, I used these white rampins from the Pioneer Woman line at Walmart and some small knives that we already had. We used two kinds of meats and two kinds of cheeses. I'm not an expert on fancy cheese, but the guy working at the Kroger cheese shop was really helpful, so don't be scared to ask for help if you're like me and don't have experience with it. The jams, honey, and preserves, and also the cheese straws are all items that I got locally right here in the Savannah area. We used two kinds of bird's cookies that were baked right here in Savannah. The old time classic oatmeal and also the key lime cooler which I think is one of their best sellers. At Horton's General Store I picked up these delicious pecan pie pecans and pork skins. Now I'm not one to eat pork skins a lot but y'all these were so good. Now that we have all of our items together, we can start arranging our charcuterie board. One fun thing to do was to make a rose out of pepperoni. All you do is use a small glass and layer the pepperoni slices, and it was surprisingly simple. Now we're going to just start laying out things to get a rough idea of where things should go. And look how cute our pepperoni rose turned out. Honestly y'all, I was amazed. 
I really appreciate you being here to watch one of my videos. If you're enjoying the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and they'll let you know every time I post a new video. I would love to have you as part of our Bluebell Charm family. found these cute little doilies in my stash. Of course you don't have to use doilies, but I love the southern touch that it gave our board. Now you're just going to arrange things how you think they look best. I didn't want the meats touching the fruit or the sweet items. Maggie added some tiny little marigolds from our garden. I think it looks just gorgeous. And now for the best part, I get to sit down and enjoy it with my family. We all had a fun time trying to create our perfect bite. I hope you enjoyed seeing our Savannah, Georgia inspired charcuterie board. And if you make one, post a picture on Instagram and tag me at Bluebell Charm. I'd love to see it. And I'd also love to see what items are special to your area that you include on your board.